Hey guys, uh, today I'm gonna help you guys with the connectivity issue with the new Xbox controllers, the Series S slash X. And this is the blue one, that's the black one. I put a, a silicone cover on on, on it, uh, which I bought from AliExpress. It was really cheap. The reason for that is, if you take a look up close, uh, the texture, it has a sandpaper type of a fill for some people uh to me it doesn't bother me i really like it it's lighter than the older version but the texture on the older version was a bit better uh, i really love this uh, new controllers so to fix the bluetooth connectivity dropout issues that's happening a lot the first thing you will need to do is update the xbox controllers uh, drivers so to do that the first thing you have to do is on your computer go to the Microsoft Store and uh, search for Xbox accessories and I'll uh, show you guys up close how it looks like so this is how the icon is gonna look like um, install this application please I have already installed it so it's gonna ask me to launch I'm gonna launch it okay it says connect uh, an Xbox wireless controller to get started so the next step will be to connect your USB cable to your controller and then switch it on it will detect your controller right away and uh, since I have already updated my controller the update option is not here you you guys gonna see it if there is any update uh, available it will pop up click on it and allow it to update please do not disconnect your USB cable while the update completes so once the update is completed turn off the power press and hold it Okay, it's gone. Take out the cable, turn it back on. All right, my one is connected because I already connected to the Bluetooth. So on your computer, if you uh, go to the Bluetooth and here you're gonna, if you're connecting the first time, you see this one, my one is already connected so both of them are connected it's already paired once it's on it says connected once it's uh, if it's off it's just gonna say paired but uh, not gonna say connected and the new controllers also show you the battery life as well so uh, to connect it all you do is first click on add a device do not choose this one please everything else uh, where it says Xbox controller with a wireless adapter so if you're using a wireless adapter only only then uh, choose this option otherwise choose the Bluetooth and it's gonna search for your controller to pair it just click on the button here press and hold and it will start flashing my one will not show up because I already connected but you guys will see the Xbox controller in the list here so click on that and connect and so the next step the reason the connectivity is uh, dropping all the time is because of power saving mode and I'm gonna show you guys in a moment here so first thing you do is search for device manager and open device manager and now uh, what you need to do is click on human interface devices so I'm gonna show you here the first two Bluetooth LE X input the first two uh, when it says LE these are the new Xbox controllers the one on the third the Bluetooth X input without the LE is the older version of the Xbox controller so what we need to do is we need to right click on it and go to properties and then go to power management and uncheck 
allow the computer to turn off this uh, device to save power. So uncheck it for all controllers and then press the OK. Do it for uh, even the older versions as well. So go to properties, go to power management, uncheck the allow the com uh, computer to turn off this device to save power. And do this for all the controllers you have. Now, if, if I show you my Bluetooth here, so you see the last three, the last two basically, the 4416, uh, the new Xbox controllers will have th their unique identification. It will have some numbers. And uh, so some computers, uh, like this one, um, the Intel R wireless Bluetooth, that's my adapter. So for some co uh, computers who are using a old, uh, or, or sorry, a different manufacturer, not a Intel uh, chipset for the Bluetooth, you will need to disable the power management something like this so under Bluetooth you will see let's say if it's a Qualcomm so you will see your adapter right click on it go to properties and then go to power management and uncheck that too so some of your computers will need to uh, do this as well but people who have the Intel uh, chipset doesn't matter if it's a third party manufacturer. Uh, if you uh, just disable from the X input under uh, human interface devices. So I'm gonna show you again. So go to device manager, uh, expand human interface devices and right click on Bluetooth LEX input properties power management disable those now what I was talking about earlier is if you see my Bluetooth the inter our wireless Bluetooth we don't have the option to disable power management or oh, sorry the power uh, 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 the, the power saving mode we don't have the option to disable here but uh, some adapters will have that so whoever have that, you will need to disable it from there. All right, guys, thank you. This will fix your issue. If it still doesn't work, if it's one controller not working, the rest are working, for sure you have a hardware defect. In that case, you have to replace. Uh, subscribe to my channel, guys. Uh, soon I'm gonna be doing a review on the S21 Ultra. Unlike other reviewers who are using a small MacBook uh, screen or a small laptop screen to do their camera reviews. I use a Monitor like a TV as a monitor. So for sure uh, you can barely notice difference between um, a hundred and one zero eight zero P versus a 4k when your screen is small like that How would you even do a review of a, a Camera that is 12 megapixel or 108 megapixel. It doesn't make sense. So that's why to uh, see it live, uh, if you see my other videos, uh, I do it live. I zoom into the pictures to look into the details in real time on a large screen to uh, find the details, to uh, uh, see how the details look. So uh, do subscribe if you want to see a real review, not uh, a review made on a tiny small laptop screen on the new S21 Ultra. It's coming soon. Thank you. Have a good day.